G'day guys, just got a quick video for you today. I wanted to share this new Lightroom technique for skin smoothing using the texture slider. I came across this technique a couple of days ago via fellow YouTuber Michael Sasser, who's a boudoir photographer in LA. And I thought this was a really great technique and something that I thought I'd share with you in case you haven't come across it yet. So let's jump straight into Lightroom and have a look. Uh, I've got a set of images here, there's 28 images from a little tuition session I did a couple of days ago uh, with a model, local model called Christy. Uh, basically this setup was just a very simple portrait setup using an Elenchrom ELC 1000 with a Elenchrom Indirect Octa, the 190cm Indirect. So it's a really nice soft light. Uh, but if we have a little zoom in onto Christie's face, you'll see that there is still a bit of uh, skin texture showing up. Now these images were captured on the Fuji X-T2 with the 56mm 1.2R. So they're pretty sharp, uh, shot at 5.6, ISO 200, and um, we are still getting some skin texture coming through, which just needs a little bit of smoothing. So let's jump into develop and uh, have a look what we can do with this. I'll just zoom all the way out again. Select our gradient tool. Put a gradient all the way over the image like so. And then we just want to pull our texture slider down. Let's start at around about minus 60 as a good starting point. And if I zoom in on Christie's face, you'll see that that has smoothed off a lot of that image. So if I turn that on and off, you'll see it's affecting not only her skin, but her eyes and the hair as well, which is obviously not something we want. We want uh, it to just affect the skin. So I'll leave that on. And next we're gonna go to the range mask here and select color. Now that gives us the option to grab a little eyedropper here and just sample a skin color. So I'm just gonna sample it off her forehead here. That's kind of a mid-tone area. We'll just drop our little eyedropper back in its place again, turn that on and off, and you'll see how much difference that makes on her skin. But we're still getting a little bit of an effect on her hair. Not as much as it was before. So we just need to refine that little mask. So I'm just going to zoom all the way out. Now to refine that range mask, we're just going to hold the option key down and play with the amount. So you can see as I slide the amount up, more and more of the image is affected. As I slide it down, we're really reducing it down to just that skin tone. So we probably want it up a little bit higher, probably sort of around that 20% mark. And if we zoom back in again, switch that on and off, you'll see this area of her hair is hardly being affected at all now. And also her eyebrows and her eyes are also not being affected. But if I have a look a little bit further down to this area of her hair, you'll see that it's a little bit of softening coming through because we've got a very similar color tone in her hair as it is to her skin tone. So that doesn't really bother me too much at all. It's a pretty subtle effect on that hair just there. So there we go. That's how you apply that to a single image. I'm just gonna zoom all the way out again. Now, when it comes to batching this, I'm just gonna basically select all the images and hit sync. Now, the only effect that we want is the graduated filter. So I'm gonna ch check none, click graduated filters back on and hit synchronize. So that's applied that gradient with the texture taken off across all those images now. But if we click back in and click our little eyedropper, we want to basically double check where that eyedropper is sampling because our composition is changing between the images 
and the sample point for the little eyedropper is going to remain in exactly the same spot on every image it's not going to necessarily line up with the correct spot on her face so we just need to go through every single image and double check where that sampling is taking place so i'm just going to quickly go through every image just sampling again from the middle of her forehead you'll see that it's changed sometimes it's right on her hair sometimes it's on her eye that one's right so I'm just going to quickly go through this and do this for every single image So there we go, I've got the eyedropper in the correct spot for all those images now. And if we go back to our first image. Okay, so nothing else has been done to these images apart from the skin smoothing at this stage. Um, I did apply an import preset um, when I first imported these images into Lightroom. And that is a Fuji import. All it does is apply the Astia Soft Profile. So to finish off these images, ready to send off to Christy to have a look at. Um, I just want to add maybe a little bit more contrast. And then just take the saturation back a little bit. I tend to like my images a little bit desaturated for these type of portraits. Just to take a little bit of that extra saturation out of the skin tone. And then if I want to basically pull a bit more saturation back into the top for instance I can click on saturation there grab my little marker here and just pull that up again and that just pulls a little bit of saturation back into the top and her lips without affecting the skin too much so I'm pretty happy with that overall look and I just want to sync that across all the images so I'm gonna select all again hit sync and this time I don't want to sync the graduated filters so I'm going to uncheck that don't want spot removal or crop so this is just syncing the exposure and saturation adjustments that I've just done hit synchronize across all those So they're all looking pretty good now. There might be some subtle exposure changes that I need to make on some of these images. But overall, those images are now all ready to be sent off apart from maybe a little bit of fine tuning with the crop on some of them. So there you go, there's Lightroom skin smoothing using a texture slider and a gradient tool. And a big thanks to Michael Sasser for originally sharing that technique. I hope you guys learnt something from that. And until I see you in the next video, ciao for now.